Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends I have this 12 volt and 5 volt power supply it have low output let's check it and then we will see what is the problem here DC volt in the output side the center pin that is the common volt, common pin in 12 volt section it is providing 2.8 volt and in 5 volt section it is giving 0.7 volt let's see what is the problem we will check the DC capacitor it is 340 volt in AC line we have 237 volt 36.8 36.9 37 volt 237 at DC it is 339 volt so let's check it First we will see this capacitor must discharge we have a voltage in the output side that means the IC is switching there is no fluctuation here it is giving indication that we have something wrong in the output side just we want to verify the snubber snubber diode that is here diode is good the snubber circuit is good that means the problem is in secondary why because now this time the IC is switching at its full rate but this time it cannot take feedback let's verify the VCC capacitor VCC capacitor that's here VCC capacitor is at its maximum voltage that is 15.9 volt it is using 3842 IC let's check output stage if we inspect carefully the output capacitors have some raised surface these one also have swelling in the top surface this one so let's remove these capacitors and then we will see it let's remove this capacitor first which have swelling discharge it it is 1000 microfarad capacitor 1000 microfarad capacitor and it is nothing reverse the leads it's open the first capacitor that's bad check the second one discharge it so this one is also damaged it's damaged let's check this one 5 volt section
it's also damage in resistance mode it is open let's remove this one as well we can see this is its condition so no, no need to check it now we can verify the rectifiers that lead to the center pin ok that's good For test purpose, I will just install some small capacitors. Just and then I will install. It is hundred microfarad, sixteen volt. For just test purpose. I will connect these capacitors and we will see the result. When you are connecting the polar capacitor, always take care for the polarity because polarity is very important in these polar capacitors take care for the positive and the negative direction of the capacitors otherwise if we connect in reverse polarity it will blast immediately negative inside negative inside all capacitors are connected now Yes, it is 5 volt and negative. Yes, that is 12 volt. So, our these four capacitors bad. I will install the same value capacitors. These four capacitors are expired. If you see this one. it have blast this one swelling surface it is also the same this one is also the same as I connected the small capacitors here but now the output voltage are stable voltage are stable 5.16 volt and these are stable and if you check this one it is 12.5 volt so now I will install new capacitors here and our this power supply is good there are many causes for the voltage drop or the capacitors are not holding the charge properly at that time these capacitors will not allow to build the voltage in output DC rail in that case the supply will not fluctuate too much if we have short circuit it will fluctuate but if it have open capacitors the voltage will drop I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it Thanks for watching.